Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, way north. More specifically, we are in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Now, uh, Jen and me are in the process of moving all Jen stuff to our home in uh, North Carolina. We're gonna be moving right after Thanksgiving. So um, it's gonna be kind of drawing an end to an era, and that's my uh, my era staying part-time in, uh, in Western New York. And uh, as I would come up and stay with Jen in Rochester, um, you know, I would look for things to film in the area, and a lot of times my go-to thing to film was to drive across the uh, international border and head in to Canada. I always love coming out here to Niagara Falls, Canada to explore the falls and especially to explore Clifton Hill, their tourist district here in Niagara Falls. So I feared as my time in Western New York is winding down and of course me and Jen will visit Western New York in the future but I thought you know I should come over and then uh, not say goodbye but say goodbye for a while to Clifton Hill, one of my favorite tourist districts in the world, I guess. It's not, in, I was gonna say United States or America, but it's not in the United States, it's across the border. Of course, love, love like tourist meccas, like, like Gallenberg Pigeon Forge, like, uh, like uh, Wisconsin Dells, like Myrtle Beach or Branson, Missouri, but it's just like a cluster of wonderful tourist things to do. And that's what we have here in Niagara Falls, Clifton Hill, the tourism district. So please, follow me. This is where I usually park here, in between the Skyline Tower and Clifton Hill. And I always park next to the uh, Dinosaur Golf here, the Dinosaur Adventure Golf. And can you guys hear that? Because I've never noticed this before. Maybe it's usually too busy, maybe there's usually too many people out here golfing, but I never realized these dinosaurs had sound effects. You can hear them all like grunting and growling and hissing at each other. Here, I'll be quiet, see if you guys can hear that. Can you hear them? They're actually not making a lot of noise. There they go. You hear them snarling. Now normally there's fiery eruptions coming out of the volcano. Looks like today, today is pretty cold today. I don't, I don't see any fiery eruptions. I wonder if they do turn the volcano off during the winter months. And every time I come up here and I see that big Frankenstein eating that Whopper, it puts a smile on my face and I know that things are gonna be okay. Now, I came up here last time that I was in town to uh, to Rock World, it's a gift shop that sells rock and roll memorabilia. It used to be the Rock Legends Wax Museum. But apparently, when the uh, Wax Museum, the, the next door, closed down, they turned it into Locomo Land, which is an interactive miniature wonderland, a train-based attraction here. So uh, while the gift shop for the Rock Legends Wax Museum is still open and there is some wax figures still in there. The majority of the museum has been transformed into Locomo Land, which was closed last time I was here. It looks like it's open, so let's check out Locomo Land. All right, so we have the train set right here as we enter. You can see there's some uh, airplanes and starships over top. Some like anime girls here on the end. Okay, we follow the piano keys here. Oh, I guess that's gonna take us upstairs here. Oh yeah, see the piano keys. Yes, this would be part of the old uh, Rock Legends Wax Museum because they'd have piano for rock and roll. But now it's a train museum. 
and it's tile, so they didn't want to tear that up. Oh, mind your step here. And let's see the big reveal. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> you can see the train sets here, a little train station. We've got these like elevated train tracks here for the different trains you go by. Little buttons here with actions. Now look at the, the chicken farm right there. I push the button and look at the chickens. <laughs> the chickens start running around. Okay. Is the button here? Around this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's your man. That one right there? Yeah. Oh, okay, then you can actually you see the train's the idea. Speed. I control the speed and the horn. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This one is another thing. This train. Yeah. Okay, so I have the train right there. Let's see where it is. Yeah, yeah. This train right here? Yeah. Okay, so you can watch the train as it goes by. Oh, that's really cool. There's a traffic jam right there. Looks like there's been a, uh, a semi jackknifed onto the, onto the road. There's a whole military convoy being backed up. And at the very end, of the road, we have uh, Cinderella Castle from Disney World. Yeah, one fun thing about uh, about miniatures, just kind of trying to take in all the small little details. You see this castle here, not sure what castle that is, but uh, out in front you have a uh, some musicians playing in the parking lot, people playing some instruments. On top we got a Lego version of the Millennium Falcon. And a little light there at the top, little pew pew lasers. These little push me buttons. Guess uh, you gotta figure out each one activates something in, uh, in the scene. It's like a little outhouse here. Let's see if we can, there you go. There's someone defecating in there. All right, oh, 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 I'm pushing, good. I close the door there, okay. Yeah, it looks like this button here. Okay, it lights up the barbecue. Oh, it makes the barbecue spit. It's like roasting a hog there on, uh, on the barbecue. Outside the trade tunnel. Oh, see that little camera flash there, someone taking photos. See the big Ferris wheel there. Also, a roller coaster called the Comet. And some big scary, uh, big scary drop tower there as well. Okay, this button here causes the Ferris wheel to rotate. Now this one's labeled Mini Niagara Falls, and if you look closely, it actually, there's a man on the street, and when you push the Mini Niagara Falls button, it actually causes him to urinate in the street. There's also a guy over there that's completely naked too, so some, uh, some spicy stuff here at Locomo Land. Over at this end, we have this massive aircraft carrier. This is a Lego version of that big uh, opera house in Australia. As you see the water flowing there under the Statue of Liberty. Now here in uh, front of the church, you see people racing by on their little bicycles. 
Oh, yeah, look at the little bicycle man there. Oh, here comes bicycle lady rounding the bend. All the little tiny details. Hit that button there. And you can see the the reindeer there moving its antlers. Over here you can see a little sky lift. The sky cars coming in there. So load up and take the paper to the top. Over here, several uh, Star Wars Lego uh, Star Destroyers. There's a big one right there. See uh, Darth Vader and his friends. I used yeah. to manage the block. Wow, that's crazy. They never crash. <laughs> they never crash? It's multiple trees around the floor. All the way around? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is the car. It's the bus? Is oh, the okay. Satellite. So you can track all of them? It's a GPS system. It's as a GPS system? <laughs> it's precisely you know, less than one, six centimeters. Wow. So, you know, the code you control. Different the performance to yeah. the section. You, know? <laughs> you can program the section. See, this is a section. Yeah. You then let on this. You can use code control this. If the car will stop here. Oh, okay. See, you see, stop. That means it's occupied. See? Okay. You turn off this. Boom. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at all these different trains that you can control here. the token in there, give the train some gas here, we watch the train cruise through the model. Oh, and there it goes, right there. That's the train we're watching. Oh, you can see the train coming at me there. Let's see if I can... Leave it. Hey train! Hey train! Hey little guy! See the Porta Johns there? And then a bicycle. Built for two. A little car track here as well. Oh yeah, you can see the cop car there. Oh. Uh oh. You can see here the Locomo Land Train Museum actually does still exit through the uh, Rock Legends Wax Museum exit exits into the gift shop here. Right next to Alice Cooper and Marilyn Manson up there. <laughs> Definitely a chilly day out here on Clifton Hill. I think we're going to, going to uh, duck into the great Canadian Midway for warmth. Ooh, hopefully it's warm in here. Oh, it is, it's nice and warm. And here inside of the great Canadian Midway, they do have this dark ride here, Ghost Blasters 3D Interactive Dark Ride, which is actually a lot of fun. Yeah, over here. Oh, what's he saying? What the? <laughs> my head Wait a minute, he's gonna tip his hat? No, 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 he's not gonna tip his hat. He's gonna tip his whole head. He's gonna just take his head, his head off there. Look at this guy, he's got his bags packed. He's going to the Boo Hamas. The Boo Hamas. As well as Screamsville there. Oh yeah. Oh look at that, the skeleton.
skeleton there popping out of the closet. The skeletal lady there rocking in her chair. A lot of skeleton fun. So it's five dollars Canadian to ride Ghost Blasters. Uh, I always get confused the conversion rate, so it's a little less, a little less when you consider uh, the American dollar. See, as you enter here, get your guns ready for some some ghost blasting. Oh, watch out! It's a jump scare. You came out of that box. Oh yeah, you see the the uh, valet there tipping his head to you as you drive past him. You got a ghost reading the newspaper right there. All right, and our chariot awaits. Oh, oh, watch out for this mummy here. All right, grab a blaster. I think we start blasting right away. All right, get him to tip his hat. Shoot that guy. All right, headed in. So it's just blasted there. So the ghost leaving. This is Bleakstone Graveyard that we are headed into. I'm gonna shoot the tree, shoot the ghost. Very spooky, spooky heads there. I'm gonna shoot his luggage. Oh yeah. Shoot the gravestones. A box of spiders, a box of chains. Oh! Fall on us. Oh, that one too. Oh, some of them are, targets are hard to hit. There's a casket over top of our heads. Oh, there we go, it's lowering the casket. Ghost watering. Look at that tree, that's creepy. Into the parlor here, the chandelier. This guy here. Oh, look at these suits of armor, that's creepy. Oh, look at that sack of skulls. All right, headed into the, the dining hall there. Oh, look at that. he has a head for dinner. Oh, look, an evil Thanksgiving there. He has the uh, turkey ghost. Very fitting for the time of year. Evil Thanksgiving. Skeletons in bed. Oh gosh, that one's actually horrifying. Oh, seance going on. Oh, look at the mysterious organ player. Up on the oh jeez. This boot or bust and down this spooky hallway here. Oh, the jump scare box there. It's the ghost of the bomb. What was in that box? I'm rattling in that box. Alright, this has come back. All right, head back into the, oh, look at that guy. Into the great Canadian Midway. All right, 510 points. Now this is interesting, they're doing some construction over in this corner, it says Bone Blasters Shooting Gallery. I thought the Bone Blasters Shooting Gallery was outside uh, on the strip next to the uh, Movie Land Wax Museum. I guess maybe they're moving it inside here. And here's the token machine. There's two sides. You can use U.S. bills to get tokens. Over here you can use Canadian bills to get uh, tokens. See what the exchange exchange rate is. See a five dollar Canadian bill will get you ten tokens. However, five dollar U.S. bill will get you twelve tokens. Alright, so I'll take advantage of the exchange rate and exchange my American five for well, token. And in the back here, they have their classic Wild West shooting gallery. More specifically, Jackalope Bob's 
Wild West Shoot Gallery. The Shooting Revenuers since 1808. And uh, I love how they actually have the uh, jackalope heads on the sign here. I'll plunk a few tokens here into. Uh, get ready to shoot! Alright, get ready to shoot. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Where'd all the whiskey go? So where'd all the whiskey go? So let's see. The spittoon back there. Oh no. My aim's not good. Oh, I'm wasting all my shots. Oh, that was terrible. Game's over, partner. Game's over, partner. I think there's more targets over on this side. Let's let's try this side here. You're ready to shoot. You're ready to shoot. All right. Let's see if we can hit the skunk here. Oh, is he gonna spray water? No, 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 not inside. Oh, I'm trying to hit this. There we go. All right, that didn't do much. Let's see, we got a big cobra down there. Sort of raccoon or weasel. Oh, something popped out of the cream there. Let's see if we can hit the chicken coop. There we go, the chicken stance. You see the chicken stance? I saw the chicken stance. Let's see. All right, this is. Game's over. Right, I guess maybe it's hard to shoot with one hand with this rifle. We shoot out some clown teeth here at uh, Big Mouth. We got two tokens. And this is a, uh, a game of precision. I'm gonna aim and shoot the clown teeth out. Is it not working? All right, this is non, non-operational. And it stole my tokens. Chameleon's Paradise here. This one, uh, this one's pretty fun. You have the bugs going by and you have to use their tongues to try to hit the little bugs. So put the, the tokens in there. Hopefully this one works. Okay, okay. He's lighting up, so gotta try to hit those bugs with his tongue as they go by. Oh, I missed one. Oh, my rhythm's off. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get these bugs. Oh, no. Come on, come on, there we go, there we go, man, there we go, got a good rhythm there for a second, yeah, knocking the, knocking the bugs down like crazy, so that got me about, uh, what is this? Six, seven, eight, nine tickets. What can I get with nine tickets? Good old fashioned game of whack-a-mole here. You know, once upon a time I met the guy. Met the guy that invented whack-a-mole. Let's play whack-a-mole. Let's play whack-a-mole. Oh, there we go. Are they wearing glasses? Oh. I don't know what the real strategy to whack a mole is, other than, other than whack the moles. Hey, you stupid moles! You're about to get whacked. Is it maybe just you hit one spot until he comes up? I don't know. Anyone know any good whack a mole strategies? Oh, spewing out some more tickets there. Oh, one more. Right, here's a variation of the uh, chameleon game, Hungry Chickens. Let's try this here. Put our tokens in. All right, we gotta, we gotta, oh yeah, you gotta make the chickens eat the chicken food. Are you eating any food? Keep eating. My chicken's kinda slow. Okay, there you go. He gobbled up a nugget there. Looks like he's eating grapes. I'm not sure what these are. Muscadines, maybe? You could normally play with someone else and you can peep to see whose chicken eats the most. My chicken here's he's eating alone tonight. Come on, chicken. I feel like my chicken is slow. Come on, chicken. You gotta pick up the pace. Five, four, come on, chicken. 
scarf them down. Snarf down those. All right. To redeem your tickets, you gotta use the ticket eater here. It's a machine that literally eats tickets. So you put the tickets in its mouth. In its mouth here. Oh, there we go. See how it likes to gobble up. Gobble up those tickets. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid it's gonna gobble my fingers. Oh. Oh no. It got stuck. Alright, I got 17 tickets. Unfortunately, it's. There we go. Okay. The rest of the tickets in there. Oh yeah, 17 on this. Let's see if it can uh, give us a 17 plus eight tickets. That's, uh, do the math. <laughs> 17 plus eight, that's 25 tickets. Let's see what 25 tickets can get us here at the Great Canadian Midway. Hopefully you can get one of those giant stuffed animals at the top. So for 25, I got a, a, uh, a, a little can of noise putty. I don't even know what noise putty is. Is this like slime that makes noises? Maybe like you squish it? It's so loud in here, maybe I'll take the slime outside to hear it. Okay, we've stepped out into the quiet streets of Clifton Hill. We have our noise putty. See if this makes a noise. It made a little noise. Can you guys hear that? All right. Kind of noisy out here, actually. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear the. There we go. If you, hear, if you can hear the noise, buddy. Leave a comment in the comment section. I always remember as a kid trying to win tickets to uh, to get prizes. Never won anything big. Never won any good prizes. I don't know if I just didn't have the the skill to play these games. I don't know if I didn't have the uh, the commitment to save up tickets. Because normally I'd win tickets. And then I'd trade them in for like noise slime or something, something silly. I don't know, maybe you're supposed to like, you know, bring them home, uh, you know, save them for years, save up for something big. But um, yeah, we just went for the, went for the, went for the small prizes. They'd always have like something, some incredibly expensive prize up on top. I remember the local uh, arcade had like a, a Nintendo Entertainment System, an NES that you could win and um, you'd look at that and I don't even I already I already had an NES but I still thought it'd be amazing to win it I guess you appreciate you appreciate things more if you uh, if you win them so I don't know I really appreciate I appreciate this this noise slime more than I would have if I would have just gone to the store and uh, and purchased it I don't know if you guys can hear that can I even can I even bring this back into America is this is this, would that be legal? I made a big noise there, do you hear that? Oh yeah, look at this. You're at the uh, Movie Land Museum. They did actually remove the facade of the shooting gallery and they moved it inside the uh, Canadian, Great Canadian Midway uh, next door. So I don't know what they're gonna what they're gonna have here at the shooting gallery uh, now. They have it all closed up. Walk down here to the bottom of Clifton Hill, actually right by uh, the uh, U.S. Canadian border down here. And uh, as you see, the first thing you see when you come in to uh, to Canada from this side is Ch Hershey's Chocolate World. Now I've been to the Hershey's Chocolate World in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and they actually have a really fun dark ride. I don't think they have a dark ride in this Chocolate World, but I figured we'd take a take a peek inside. You can see over on this side of the building, you have a giant chocolate bar there. Someone's uh, taking some taking some bites there out of the top. And they do have a giant Hershey Kiss hanging off the the very tippy top of the building there. Yeah, the Hershey Kiss character there, inviting us into the chocolate world. 
is the world's largest Hershey collection. You have the largest peanut butter cup there. Is that is a one pound, I guess two half pound cups, a little pretty, pretty heavy there. Then the uh, largest Hershey bar. Man, that's, yeah, that's, feels like concrete. That's so heavy. The giant thing of syrup. Okay, the syrup actually, that bottle's empty. Guess they don't want anyone dropping that and spilling chocolate syrup all over the floor. That would create a horrific mess. A fun photo op here with the Hershey's Kiss in the center of the Niagara Falls. You have a barrel there, of course. Normally you'd use the barrel to climb inside and, and uh, cast yourself over the falls. limited edition cup that actually has the uh, the Hershey's characters in front of the falls themselves. This one says this one says princess on it. I've not seen this this mascot before, this Reese's cup. This Reese's cup looks like he's about to give someone a uh, knuckle sandwich. Different lip balms here. For those of you who want chocolate syrup lip balm, that always makes me feel nice and fresh to have chocolate syrup drizzling off my lips. What is peanut butter sauce? I mean, is it peanut butter? Is it, is it different than just normal peanut butter? If anyone knows what peanut butter sauce is, leave a comment in the comment section. Then from Hershey's Chocolate World, you can actually head through this corridor into the Coca-Cola shop. Now there's like a soda fountain in here. These retro seats, these old timey, Coca-Cola advertisements. Oh, it looks like they're playing. Uh, looks like they're playing Elf in here. Different soda-based socks. Of course, I love, love the orange Fanta, but uh, these days I try to stick to the, uh, the Diet Fanta or the Fanta Zero. It looks like there's another gift shop down uh, this corridor here. Some fun Niagara Falls shirts. You know, Forest Wars. Which has the, uh, is that, uh, so the, the, the stormtrooper's like a bear, and then there's Darth, Darth Vader as a moose. I, this is like Jen's two favorite things combined together, Star Wars and moose. This is Niagara Falls, the honeymoon capital. And is that true? I think I, think I have heard that before, that people go off to Niagara Falls to get married. I know uh, Jim and Pam in the office went to Niagara Falls to get married. You know, I may need to invest this winter in a hat that covers my ears. I don't know if that's the right, I don't know if that's exactly what I want to go for, but I'm going to keep a lookout for a good hat. And here in Canada, they say that they are the best damn nation. And uh, by, by damn, they have a beaver there, and beavers make dams. So, in a, like they're saying the best damn nation, like the swear word, but also damn is in the beaver house because they have a lot of beavers in Canada, and also damnation is a word in and of itself, so there is layers to this. Some Canadian shot glasses. That's what I like, the, the snow globes there. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of glitter there, covering Niagara Falls. Got the big falls there. Oh, yeah, that one's got snow. And the, the A <laughs> snow globe. Canada A. Oh, and it's got, it's got red and white snow. For Canada. And got a little, oh, I was like, oh look, it's like two mooses surfing in milk. I always love the brochure racks. I love finding new things to do on the brochure racks. Although, at this point, I've traveled so much, it's uh, sometimes it gets hard to find stuff on the uh, brochure racks that I have not already uh, experienced. The haunted house there. One of the haunted houses on Clifton Hill. The house of Frankenstein. Yeah, most of the stuff here, most of the here, stuff here I have experienced at one point or another. And as we head back outside here next door, we have this. This is the uh, old Planet Hollywood here in Niagara Falls. And it looks very abandoned. 
see this used to would have been like painted like the world and then had uh, I would say Planet Hollywood up there on the scaffolding and it looks very very abandoned I get a get out get up and get a closer look here but um, there is a private property no trespassing sign so we will obey that I do like to follow the rules especially when I am uh, when I'm traveling abroad <laughs> when I'm out of the United States I like to I like to follow the rules pretty closely when I'm in uh, someone else's country but uh, yeah look at that just right here it's one of the first things you see when you come in to the country here is this great big abandoned planet Hollywood and you actually can see on the ground they have these stars still embedded in the ground let's say planet Hollywood there does that say this one says Al Pacino. Al Pacino there. Is Al Pacino, is his handprint under, underneath there? Okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna cross the barrier, but you can see right there, those are, look at our handprints right there. Celebrity handprints just abandoned and left out in the weather. Oh my gosh. It's sad that someone can't come and, uh, and rescue those. Yeah, I remember when Planet Hollywood was a big deal back in the 90s. I think it was owned, was it owned by Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Sylvester Stallone. And I don't know, you don't see them very much anymore. I, I think there might still be one at Disney Springs, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. And I really hope, I really hope they can reuse this building here. It's a really cool building. And again, it's like right here at the border. One of the first things you see when crossing into Canada from the United States. So it'd be really cool to see this turned into an attraction of some sort, instead of just sitting here abandoned. Oh yeah, from up here you can see that Hershey's Kiss a little better, dangling off the top of that building. Skip our parrot golf. You can see the parrot, the kidnapped pirate there. The pirate's actually wearing a Santa's hat for this season. And uh, looks like in their boat there, they've got some uh, some presents there. The barrel's wrapped up, a nice holiday ribbon. <laughs> And here at the uh, fun house, the gnome here is also uh, also wearing a Santa's hat as well as some braids. It's good to see all the animatronics along Clifton Hill here dressed up uh, for the holiday season. Oh. Even here at the haunted house, you can see they've got their uh, stockings hung up on the chimney. Here in the lobby of uh, Madame Tussauds, they have uh, decorated for Christmas, including putting uh, Will Ferrell in his elf outfit. And you can see Peter Dinklage there, who's uh, also in the film Elf, all wrapped up in Christmas lights. Beer rhymes with here. That is definitely a true statement. So a wonderful day here on Clifton Hill. It may be a little while before I get back here, but you know what? I always, I always come back. So uh, yeah, just, you know, moving. Strange to say moving, because I've been just moving nonstop for two years, but you know, in the, in the small amount of downtime I've taken in uh, Western New York, and I get to spend some time with Jen. I always like to come over here during the day and see what's going on at Clifton Hill. So it'll be a little while before before we make our way back here, but just uh, 
always with a smile on my face to to visit this little tourist mecca here next to the falls. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If uh, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun random stuff. If you like help support the channel in other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins and doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in any of those things, all that information is in the description of this video. And all that helps keep this train, I saw a train museum today, on the track. This boat on the water, didn't go to a boat museum. And uh, it's dirigible in the air. Until next time my friends, this one's in the bag.